mobile phones, and retro games. Should the two ever be combined? Well, Capcom seems to think so. With the release of all the original Mega Man games on the NES on both Android and iOS devices back in January, I was curious to give these games a try and see if they stacked up against their retro counterpart. And I know they're not fucking going to for one reason and one reason alone. You need a damn controller to play these fucking games. I'm sorry, people. I know we're trying to go all futuristic with the cell phones and all, but the future isn't going to be some big glass window pane where you just touch everything. You can't touch everything sometimes. Sometimes you need real physical fucking buttons that, that exist in the real world to play a fucking video game. Is that so crazy? So with all that ranting out of the way, let's play some Mega Man on the telephone. This is the overstimulation station. Game reviews and self-defacing entertainment interlacing Just sit back and start to space out over Stimulation band reviews are playing skits Where I'm a chick worth laying attention Grabbing product placement with the point I'm trying to make is the overstimulation station Overstimulation station Overstimulation station Overstimulation station Mobile gaming to me is something that is mainly done when I'm bored and trying to kill time Say I'm getting my oil changed or waiting for my food to arrive at a restaurant. These are times when pulling out my cell phone and knocking back a few games of Candy Crush makes sense. But trying to cram a game like Mega Man, where precise controls are a must, onto a little touchscreen device is just sheer stupidity. But hey, let's give it a try. Maybe it'll be kind of like playing an actual Mega Man game on your cell phone. I went out and purchased all of these games in the App Store for this video. The sacrifices I make for my 11 viewers. I already have all of the classic NES Mega Man games, which I will compare side by side. Oh, look at that idiot. Um, let's start with the first Mega Man game, released in 1987. So you have, uh, you have three speeds here, normal speed, high speed, and turbo speed. Okay, let's start with normal speed. Okay, looks like a good uh, good start screen here. Now you can already see that the frame rate's a little uh, laggy here, a little a little fucked up. All right, wow. Yes, this is very choppy indeed. Um, just doesn't look quite right. The flat, the flat glass D-pad sucks. You cannot rely on it like you would with normal analog buttons. You're constantly having to look to your left side of the screen to see if your thumb is on the fucking D-pad. No good. Let's move on to Mega Man number two. Alright, Mega Man 2, let's go with a fan favorite. Let's go with Metal Man as our first uh, Reploid or whatever that we're gonna be trying out here. Okay, here we go. It's so unresponsive, like trying to avoid all the the enemies, like these chain things falling down. The, the, just the D-pad is, is awful. You have no sense of any direction that you're hitting. You have to literally just go solely on where the character is moving on the screen because you can't see or you can't feel anything. Mega Man number three. Let's see how this one turns out. Have you noticed yet, have you yet noticed that the, uh, the music is markedly slower than in the real Mega Man games on the NES? Don't believe me? Take a listen. All 
Alright, let's do Shadow Man. I always thought Shadow Man was cool. He was uh, one of my more favorite Reploids to defeat in Mega Man 3. He had a cool power. Now see, oh man. Oh, trying to fight Proto Man when it's nearly impossible to execute slides. That's a big thing that was added to Mega Man 3 that made it different than Mega Man 2 was your ability to slide, which is actually, when used on a uh, regular NES controller, is very useful indeed. I mean, you can slide around all over the place and really avoid a lot of your uh, bad guys that way. Now we're moving on to Mega Man 4, one of my personal favorite Mega Man games out of the whole NES collection. Again, with the slower music and the wonky frame rate. And this time, he does this weird auto charge. I mean, I guess because you can't, since it's a cell phone screen, you can't really hold the, the uh, fire button down. So they just automatically charge it for you. All right, now let's go to Mega Man 5 for the NES. For some reason, the rarest and most expensive of the six Mega Man games for NES. Don't know why, not particularly the best game in the series. Has one of the easiest Dr. Wily castles I've ever played. Um, the Reploids in it aren't even that cool in five, but whatever. Again, with the slow ass music. Um, I guess it's because like the whole game itself, like the frame rate is just wrong on it. So they decided to slow the music down too. I don't know, but it's really, it really bugs me because I know how the music is supposed to sound in Mega Man for the NES and even Super Nintendo has some of the best sounding 8-bit and 16-bit music on any system. So it's really disappointing to hear this like really slowed down kind of like subdued version of these like really cool chip tunes. All right, let's go to Mega Man 6 for the NES. And more slowdown. What a surprise. Um Yes, very slow. Let's try turbo mode. Wow. <laughs> turbo this this is simply unfucking playable. Why is this option even in the game? It's it's literally unplayable. Like it's useless. It's a useless option. Well, I didn't really want to do this next game, but if I'm reviewing all the mobile Mega Man games, I would be remiss to leave out Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo. That's right. They made a Mega Man X mobile game. Oh, this should be fun. And already the screen looks completely different. Um, this is definitely going to be a game that they just kind of redid. They're not, see at least, at least the other Mega Man games for the NES, they like tried to stay original and true to form, but not this game. This game is, this is like a bastard child of Mega Man X. Look at the fucking animations, dude. These animations look nothing. They look like some new school, like one of those cheap, like free Adobe Flash games that you can play online. That's exactly what this animation looks like. I mean, granted it runs smoother than the Mega Man on the NES, but it looks so goofy. And the screens, like, you have to 
you, you, they don't scroll like smoothly. You get to the end of a screen and it has to like transition quickly. And like, I guess since it's optimized to be played on a mobile phone, you're like super zoomed in, like right in there, you know, like right on Mega Man. And you can't really see much around you. Let's compare this to the original. I just can't get over how goofy these fucking animations look, dude. This looks like it was made in like, like this literally looks like it was made and animated on Adobe Flash. Like, this does not look anything like the 16-bit Mega Man X game for Super Nintendo. It plays all right. Again, they stack the buttons, like the fire and the jump button, to where you're constantly having to rock your fingers back and forth. And I don't know why, but it just felt so much more natural on a Super Nintendo controller than it did here now. Yeah, this, this game sucks. Um, not, not anything redeemable about this one whatsoever. If you're that desperate to play Mega Man X on the go, then just wait till you get home. You'll be much better off. So in conclusion, these are my main complaints with the mobile Mega Man games. The flat glass D-pad sucks. You can't just rely on your sense of touch anymore. Oh, no, no. You have to be looking to your left constantly just to see where the D-pad is. That is a major flaw. On top of that, the A and B buttons are stacked on top of each other instead of next to each other. Now, why the fuck would they have made this rookie mistake? The frame rate is totally fucked. Everything is choppy and does not run nearly as smooth as it does on the original Nintendo games. Anything that involves small, minute movements with the controller, well, you're just fucked. Even climbing a ladder. These ladders are your worst nightmare. You feel so handicapped playing this game. With these mobile Mega Man games, as soon as you die one time, you go straight to the options menu to where you can either continue or stage select. I guess that's to play on the short attention span of kids nowadays. Oh no, you don't have to wait until you die three times to choose another stage. You can do it instantly. It is pretty obvious and kind of weird, but the music is just markedly slower in these mobile games than they are to the original Mega Man games. Now it's one thing from going to the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen and having to rely on the flat glass D-pad and all that, but it's a whole nother ball game trying to fight bosses where left and right going back and forth in a quick manner is required. It is nearly impossible. The mobile Mega Man games fucking suck. But you had to have known that going in, that they weren't going to be any good. Mega Man is a game that requires precise controls, and you really do need a controller with actual physical buttons to get the whole Mega Man experience. Relying on a smooth, featureless pane of glass just is a ridiculous premise in and of itself. On top of that, the frame rate is all fucked up, so the game's all choppy, and that alone would be enough to send most gaming purists running for the hills, but... And it's all the extra add-ons, too, like, the weird, like, why is there two difficulty modes for each game, you know? Like, why are there three speeds you can choose from for each game? Why does Mega Man X look like one of those freeware Adobe Flash games you can find online? The only way I can recommend any of these games is if you just have a sheer curiosity of what a Mega Man game would look like on an iPhone. But don't expect a faithful port, because without these, it's game over. <laughs> it's game over? Is that seriously how you're gonna end the fucking video? 
I don't know, these games fucking suck. You need the goddamn controller to play it. The fucking phone games suck. I don't know what the fuck you want me to say. I'm going home.